Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamira Lee. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Um, I hope this video suits you well. So um, I know in my previous like package orders with me, um, that one's been getting a ton of views. So if you have not checked it out, I recommend you do so. Um, in that video, I go ahead and explain like where I got my packaging items from and then how I package my orders and it's very informative and um, a lot of you and a lot of the feedback told me that it was super super helpful so I'm happy that I was able to help you um, in some realm if you are starting up a cosmetic line of your ores or just any like online store but um, I know that within that video I did say that I would be making a separate video on how I use Shippo and how I do my shipping labels and just like how do you ship out with Wix if you do use Wix as your hosting site? So that is what I will be discussing in this video. So without further ado, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and find it very helpful. So yeah, I'm just going to get right on to the video. All right, guys. So what I'm showing you right now is my dashboard for Wix. Um, as most of you guys know, if you guys watched my previous video, you guys should know that I use Wix as my hosting site. Um, I preferably prefer Wix over Shopify only because um, if you use Shopify, then you guys know that they do provide you with free templates. However, those templates are limited, whereas um, you can only do so much um, versus Wix where they do also provide you with free templates. However, it's so much more customizable. It's so much more easier to work with um, and it gives a pretty like overview of the site. Um, preferably over Shopify and that's just in my opinion but you can do everything that you can do on Shopify here on Wix as well um, so that's why I prefer Wix over um, Shopify because I did design my own site so I wanted it to be something that was very um, easy very um, customizable and not anything that had me have to know how to code or anything so that's the perk of why I chose Wix over Shopify. However, um, what I'm going to show you today is just kind of how Shippo works, how to set up your account and how to go on from there. Just because I know that um, I had a couple questions when I was starting out. So I hope that I'm able to cover those questions for you guys in this video as much as possible. So this video is going to be mainly for those who... Um, have Wix as well as their hosting site. I'm sure that um, if you guys use Shopify or anything else, um, some of this stuff might be the same, hopefully, um, so that I can help you guys out as well. But what I'm showing you right now is my dashboard. So with that being said, my personal stuff, I don't mind showing you guys. However, the reason why I'm not going to show you like my Shippo account um, is because you can see all of my customers like personal information and I don't want to give that away. I hope that you guys understand. Um, so let me just stop rambling. But um, this is my dashboard. So on Wix, you are able to see like your store orders. So I'll show you this. It doesn't, it shows like my customers names, but not their like personal information. So um, what I just clicked on was under where it says like dashboard, it says store products and store orders. And so this is all my orders. I do have three orders that I still need to fulfill. Um, however, you're able to see all your orders within Wix itself. However, when you want to create like a shipping label or get discounts for shipping, sorry, let me mute my phone. Or if you want to get discounts for shipping, I think that's the biggest thing. And the biggest perk with using Shippo is, um, and we're having like a Rolo thermal printer, is that you don't have to wait in line for shipping, which is a huge perk. Um, whenever I need to ship out orders, I literally walk in there and drop it off and go. And there's usually like a long line that I don't have to wait in. Um, the shipping labels look so much cleaner and like i said you get discounts so you also still profit off of your shipping um, aside from profiting from your product from your site that you're selling as well so it's a huge perk um now like i said you can see your orders through here but what you want to do on wix 
So there's different shipping websites. Um, I chose to go with Shippo. You want to go down to where it shows apps. So like where my mouse is hovering over. So you want to go to apps and you want to click on it. So you see where it says Shippo here? If you don't see, because this is all of the apps that I have already installed, you'll want to go up to the top right and go to the app market and type in Shippo and install it. And then after you do that, you'll want to open it. So what you'll want to do is if you're brand new to this and if you haven't already created an account, you're going to want to create an account. So sign up for free. This is free with your Wix. If you have Wix as your shipping um, site, it's completely free. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to sign up everything. Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to like screen record this process because in order for me to show you, I'm going to have to put in some personal information that I don't want to share with you guys, obviously. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and then I will be right back until like I did all of the information. But as far as like getting up to this point, you guys should know how to put your personal information and your business information in. So I will come back once I've done all that um, and then continue with the video. So now that I've put my information in and you guys have put your information in, this is what you should be able to see when you first log into your Shibo account. So, um, what you want to do is I don't want to connect to my store only because I have the actual Shippo account already connected to my store. Cause to be able to show you this video, like I said before, I don't want to show you that one just because there's a lot of my customers personal information, but, um, within the whole process of like putting your information in, you should have already connected your store. If you haven't, um, you'll just click on Wix. And so it should automatically connect. I don't want to press connect because like I said, since it will automatically connect, I don't want to have to like mess up my other actual Shippo account. So that's what you'll do is you'll want to connect it like that. Just make sure you connect your store to Shippo. And that is because whenever you get an order, what it's going to do is it's going to send that order to Shippo. Um, and right here, see, this is where you'll be able to see all your orders like lined up. So um, let's say if you were to get an order and you didn't really see it, but it's on Wix, um, but it's not on Shippo. You're going to want to sync your orders just so that it can file and like pop up. But um, besides all of this, let's get back to like the whole setup part. But what you want to do is you want to go to settings, your settings on Shippo. So like on your account, you want to obviously um, your plan, like once you connect it with your store, it automatically adjusts your plan to like free. Um, just because like I said, with Wix, you don't have to worry about paying for Shippo. But for your billing, you want to make sure that you add a card. Add a card because when you're purchasing your shipping labels, you're paying out of pocket, like, up front. Um, and then, like, I think it's, like, every week. Um, I forgot how frequent they do it. They send you, like, an invoice receipt. And then, like, whatever you profit, um, you'll be sent that. So just know that, like, every single shipping label you have to pay, like, for up front. Okay, but that is how you'll be able to pay for your shipping label. Um, so you want to just make sure that you add a credit card. Okay. And then on your profile, again, just make sure you have all your information there. For branding, you can go ahead and put your logo and your brand color. I did, even though like, I don't know where that really shows, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and so under integrations here, under settings. Again, it'll show like your store is linked and then carriers. So carriers is important because you want to go ahead and activate. You see these little slider buttons right here. You want to go ahead and activate everything that you want to be like a part of. So I usually send all my shipments through USPS, but let's say if I have like an international, um, someone from like, 
out of the country, you're going to probably have to go to a DHL or a UPS. So make sure to activate all of these because like once you get to the part where you're creating your shipping label, you will be able to see like all the rates um, for your um, based on the carrier and for the shipping label and for the person based on where they live. So that's important. So just make sure to activate everything that you wanna be a part of as far as like your carrier goes. Um, I really just activated everything. Like it already has it here activated for you. So I just kind of left it as it was. Um, and then if you click on your accounts, once you add those carriers, it'll show there. So right here, what you wanna do is make sure, you probably already did this when you signed up for it, but make sure you have your website, make sure you have your company name, your company address, and your social media links. Um, and then so address. This is important. So address, I can't stress this enough. So when you, whatever address you put here, make sure that it's like your home address or wherever your store is like located. Because if this on the shipping label, when you print the shipping label out, it's going to show their address and then like where your business address is. Um, you don't want to put your local post office or wherever you're shipping it to. You want to put your actual home address. So like for me, example, I have my home address because that's where I, you know, package orders. This is where my like business is located. Um, because let's say if like someone returns that returns an item, let's say, or something happens within shipping and they can't seem to find like, you miss an apartment number, they'll send it back, they'll return it to you. So whatever address that you have here is where they're going to return your package. So you don't want to put the post office or just any address um, in case it gets sent back. So please make sure to put your address um, on there. So and then your labels. So I have a Rolo thermal printer. I highly, highly recommend this printer just because it's super convenient. Um, it's a little pricey, but versus like a normal printer that I've heard normal printers, you know, always break down. And those are even more money than this Rolo thermal printer. And then plus on top of that, you have to buy paper. Then you have to buy ink and it's a whole mess. And they don't look as nice as these you know, glossy shipping labels, like actual shipping labels. So I highly recommend this. Very nice. So here's where you will, um, you know, put what you need to do. So like, since I have the roll thermal printer, these are four by six. And so I'll set it to um, my four by six PDF thermal label printer, or if you're using a printer um, or whatever you're using, you want to set and make sure that you have it adjusted to what you'll be printing your shipping label on. Um, and then again, four by six PDF. Okay. And then my carrier USPS. And then right here, I think what I have is priority mail. Um, and then you just want to set those things for that. And so packages, so this is what I did for my store and I think it's very helpful. Um, so to give you an example, I have a shipping scale. You guys probably have seen a shipping scale. So what I recommend doing, and this is what I did, like I said, I have two things that I package my orders in. I have a small custom box that you probably, that you guys have seen. And then I also have a, um, I have the holographic, the holographic four by six poly, poly bubble mailers. So, as you guys know, I sell vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free matte liquid lipsticks. I, with, like, I, I weighed on the shipping scale each lipstick inside each, like, packaged item, um, like, the, pot, the bubble mailer, and then um, with my box. And I measured them, and then I custom set them in here. So, like, what I did, package templates. I did a custom dimension. So I did the length, width, width and height of the bubble mailer. Um, and then I weighted and then I put the weight here. And then what I did with the package name, I did um, holographic bubble mailer one, which means 
holographic bubble mailer with one lipstick in it and then I put the weight of how much that was just because like that when you're actually um printing out the shipping label it's easier for you to to um just click and be done with it um and I'm going to show you at the end of this video on my actual store um this is just a setup portion but on the actual store because since I have three orders to fulfill I'm going to show you how I fulfill them um without showing you like the person's address of course but so that you guys can get a visual of what i'm talking about so i pre-customized my templates for my packages here and then again i did holographic bubble mailer two which means two lipsticks in the holographic bubble mailer and then i weighed that and put that here and then again so for with three lipsticks four lipsticks and then i did my small box i named it small box and then I put 11 ounces because that's how much, obviously it's not going to be pounds, it's going to be ounces. And then I put how many ounces that was because it's custom. You don't have to keep weighing things um, like each time you're packaging an order. It's super easy. You click on whichever package you're packaging and boom, um, then it'll calculate the rate for you. So that's what I recommend doing. And so tracking package. You don't have to worry about this because every time that you already um you calculate every time that you um go ahead and print out a shipping label it automatically creates based on the carrier that you have programmed with it it calculates a tracking number and it sends them like a little message um saying stating like your um your package is just being processed and has been shipped so that the customer knows like okay my package is on the way so i think that's really cool about shipbo too um because it does it all itself for you so you don't have to worry about that so yeah so that's basically just the um just the like setting up portion of shipbo it's not that complicated what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna do it on loom i'm not gonna screen record it just because i'm gonna have to put my hand in some places i'm gonna grab my phone and i'm gonna record my screen now so that i can show you what I've been talking about with you so that you guys can get a visual so that's what i'm going to do now so i am on my actual um shippo account as you can see i put sticky notes here because right here is where it says customer so i don't want you guys to see like my customer's personal information because it does show their address but um this is what it looks like so you guys can get an actual visual um as to what i was talking about when you guys start actually taking orders um the beginning of the video was just the setup process but now this is let's say like you have orders coming in so this is what it's going to look like so whenever you get an order from wix although you can see your orders and who purchased from your wix um your wix dashboard it's going to automatically since you connected the store to your shipbo account it's going to send it to um shippo so this is what it looks like so right here it's going to show your order number so that's what it looks like on what date and then it will show like whether or not the customer paid it'll show the customer's name and then the information and then what they purchased so this person purchased an essentials collection um mechi hazelnut essentials collection um two items and all that and then right here is package info. And then since I have not yet fulfilled these three orders, I'm going to be doing that in this video with you guys so that you guys are able to see um, how to actually fulfill it. Um, that's what it looks like. So whenever they're not been, whenever they have not been fulfilled, this is what it will look like. And then um, when they have been fulfilled, it automatically generates a tracking number for um that customer and for you to be able to track it as well um and then since my carrier since my like top carrier is usps this is why and where it generates the tracking number from so um yeah that's what your dashboard should look like on shippo so now what i'm going to do is click on this first customer so that you guys are able to see how to go ahead and continue on the process of creating the shipping label so once you click on an order um this is what it's going to look like so it'll show like the person's name and then it'll also show like the order number up here and then right here it'll show what the person um what the customer purchased so she purchased um my shade hazelnut and then it'll show the quantity 
um, the weight. And remember, I already custom, pre-custom made this. And that was back when I had showed you under, um, in your setup, under settings, under custom um, dimensions, under packages, I think it was. Um, that is where you're going to do that. So since she already purchased um, and it shows that it was a quantity of one, one lipstick, I had already pre templated that so that's how much it weighs is 1.5 ounces so um what i'm gonna do under here this is where that custom dimensions is and this is what i was referring to so since i pre created these templates a holographic bubble mailer for one lipstick is 1.5 ounces for two it's 2.5 ounces for three it's 3.5 ounces and for four it's 4.5 ounces and then for my small box it is 11 ounces and that's with five lipsticks in it so this is the one lipstick and then i'm going to save that because once you do that then over here it's going to generate your shipping rates so while that loads you'll be able to see i'm not going to scroll down because then you're going to be able to see her address and stuff but once you calculate your package and how much it weighs what it's going to do is on this side, it's going to generate your shipping rates. So this is your shipping rates. So I charge for standard shipping $6. Um, and this covers my butt because, you know, sometimes it's this much. Sometimes it's even more. But um, with Shippo, you do get discounts on your shipping, um, your shipping rates. So this is what you're going to pay up front um, for the shipping label. So um, I'm, I always do like the cheapest because this is usually it takes five days at maximum. Um, if they live close, it could take less than five days. So I'm going to do this. And so this is how much I'm going to pay. And obviously, like they have all this. So with that being said, I profit a couple dollars. So this is what I charge and this is what I pay for my shipping label. Just so that you can see that. And so I hope this is what answers a lot of your questions because this is what I was looking for when I was doing my research and I could not find it. So, um, and then there's different options. So let's say if you um, program like priority mail, which is one day shipping, that's how much it will cost you to pay. So then I know like Fashion Nova, so I know like boutiques um, and other online stores, they charge like I think it's like $13 for like one day shipping. So if you charge thir um, $13 for one day, like priority mail, um, you'll be paying this for your shipping label and then you'll profit like another six, $7, six, $5 in some sense. So that's just so you know, and so that you can base your, um, your prices off of. So this is what I do since it's standard. I'm going to pay $2.99. And so then you're just going to go up here and purchase. And so then um, I'm going to purchase this label, confirm purchase. So a tip, once you purchase this label, you need to make sure that you download this and you print it out ASAP because if you exit out of here, it's going to make you purchase that again. And I learned that the hard way. So be sure to download the, download this and print it out at the same time. So um, see right here, it'll show notifications. Email notification will be sent in three hours to your customer, basically stating that this this package, this order was, your order was like processed. Um, here's your tracking number and so forth and so on. And then um, what I do is I go here, shipping label, four by six PDF thermal label, printer shipping label. And then I'm gonna download that. So once you've downloaded that shipping label, this is what it'll show. Um, it's gonna show right here, that's my name. Ship date was today. And then it'll show like your address of the business here and then your customer's name and then their address right there. And then, like I said, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go up here, you're gonna wanna print that. And I have it set to my Rolo Thermal printer. Let me move this here. So I have it set to my Rolo Thermal printer and then um, paper size is a four by six and then I'm gonna print it and then it's gonna print out. Then, so then I'm gonna do one more um, since this is different. So my essentials collection includes all five of my lipsticks. So 
under here my custom dimensions since it's all five of my lipsticks it comes in a small box and that's already i created that it's 11 ounces i already know how much that weighs so i'm going to save that and then this specific um customer lives on the other side of the country so um usually in the west coast it's a little bit more than here on the east coast just so that you guys know so i'm going to purchase this now this specific order um since it's all five of my lipsticks she paid a little bit more so i cover the shipping cost for those orders that um reach a certain like price um so i'm paying for this out of pocket but it's four dollars and 71 cents so i'm purchasing it confirm purchase And then, sorry, I'm like all over the place. And then, make sure I hide that for you from you guys. And then, to roll a thermal printer, four by six, and then print. But since I fulfilled those orders, now they have generated UPS tracking numbers that you can copy and paste into UPS tracking to be able to track it yourself. Um, and that is what gets sent out to your customers automatically from Shippo. Shippo does that all itself. So huge perk. But yeah, that is basically how to create your shipping labels, um, how to do your shipping rates, set up your Shippo account. And yeah, pretty simple. All right, guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope I was able to explain it correctly. Um, it was a little bit hard. Sorry for like the terrible recording just because obviously like I need to protect my customer's information. So I hope that you guys understand that. Um, but I hope other than that, you guys were able to retain information. Um, and this was very helpful to you. I know that I covered things that I was trying to look for on YouTube that I wasn't able to find. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already for more videos like this. Please comment down below on what you would like to see next for all of you um, small business owners out there who are just starting or who have started but are just now getting into this and want to know more and need help. Um, I will be here for you. I am open to answering all of your questions um, just because I'm so small. Um, definitely, I am here to support you guys as I hope that you guys are able to support me. Um, again, my name is Jamerly. Um, I am the owner of Color Lux. Please be sure to check out my website, which is linked down below. And be sure to grab your matte liquid lipsticks that are vegan, cruelty-free, and paraben-free. Super long-lasting, beautiful colors. I'm currently wearing my shade Mechi, um, which is literally the perfect nude shade. Um, super comfortable wearing on the lips, and they smell just like strawberries. And all for all my like Latinos out there who know what bonbon lollipops are, they smell like a fresca bonbon. Literally so good. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling, rambling and leave this here. Again, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time.